Okay, so I'm randomly jumping around doing little bits and bobs, and I wanted to do the, the wheels. Um, the instructions tell you to use E4 and E17. Uh, I um, looked at the instructions and looked at the layout, and that wasn't right. They were the wrong numbers. So I, I assumed that they were S. So I've been and got the, um, the parts off S, put them together. and pop one in the wheel but when it comes to putting the little wheel frame around they, they don't fit very well at all so I can only assume that they are the wrong ones so, the other ones I got out, and I, I'll dry fit that, and they fit on, oh, it says, they fit on much nicer. Hmm, maybe, oh, no, of course, wrong, wrong one, already done it. Uh, they fit on much nicer, and it's not, as the instructions say, E4 and E17 it's actually F uh, 24 and 25 they are the ones F24 and 25 are the ones that you want for this uh, I can only assume that they use uh, the same sprues for different and the same instructions for different marks of Stuka so there we go so you don't want uh, E4 or E17 you want F24 and 25 to get you that better fit and they spin lovely okay okay so um, I've sanded the joints nice and smooth, put a little bit of filler in there, that's homemade filler, um, glue and plastic. I've attached the spats and wheels, as you can see I'm a happy chappy, the wheels go around. Uh, little little bits of filler needed, I don't know if you can see that, little bits of filler just needed in there, just little bits. Um, and a little bit of smoothing Sandy wants doing on that um, we'll come to um, huh. yeah so that is okay put it back that is the cockpit uh, panel it's not very good not very good at all the raised detail on it is quite poor if you have the money uh, or you want to um, buy a brass etch set this is the decal that they give you and I don't know if that's worse than that so I've just gone with that okay and that's that's okay um, I've started on the wings on the back, I don't know what they're called, technical terms, aircraft parts, uh, so yeah, I've got those together, um, so we'll come to the elephant in the room, which is the engine, well, the engine casing actually, I've had to do quite a bit of sanding to get the engine to fit, it drops in there quite nicely now, quite flush, that's not a problem that's good but what is a problem and I found earlier on, um, on when I'm putting the air filter in here there's a little little pipe that sticks in there and I've had to break that off to get that to fit now whether that's my mistake I don't know whether that's the kit's mistake but the engine is very very tight so that 
slots in there lovely as you can see a little bit of a gap but apart from that that goes well uh, I've not got the exhaust on there yet I've missed those off and then we come to putting the whole thing together and then it starts to cause problems now it's flush there very tight at the bottom as you can see very tight I can squeeze it but it's well it's just gone but I don't know what it's going to be like you can see it pushing back and it's pushed pushed the engine back a little bit as you can see so I don't know where it's where it's tight but it's tight somewhere I don't know if I can get the exhaust in or not uh, and then I've got to pop it on here so I'm doing this for the first time so the fit looks reasonable I think I've got to do a little bit more sanding either on the inside here or well I don't know where once the sides are up it's I can't I can't work out where it's it's rubbing but as you can see I've got plastic coming off there paint coming off sorry so that's obviously tight um, so I've got to work on that whether I can get it in I don't know but apart from that it's coming on really well now it's starting to look like a Stuka and I'm really happy uh, whether I fit the engine I, I don't know this is a, a coward's way out I suppose but for such a beautiful engine um, it's a shame you either can't display it or <clears throat> it doesn't fit a little better I'm not the only person I believe that's had trouble with the engine so I see how I go on and um, if it spoils my enjoyment then I will just take the engine out, put the back plate in and blank off um, the, the open ports, the uh, air intakes and exhaust intakes or whatever. I'll just put the exhaust in and then blank these bits off um, because I can't, I mean without the engine <clears throat> the fit is lovely, it snap, snaps together fantastic really, really well, fits really good, squeeze that, yeah, and that should fit on there, really nice, so yeah that's my dilemma, um, but we'll see how we get on, so as you can see uh, the engines stayed out, I tried my best to get it in but couldn't, um, so I, I thought I'd just display that separate. So this is the Stuka front now, with all the parts on. Um, I've just got to finish the front there. So yeah, I put the, the firewall in, and that's it. Um, just got to finish the rest off. Put little covers on, and bits and bobs at the back and the dive brakes and things and then she'll be ready for painting so that'll be the next stage anyway thanks for watching